boys and girls. Today we're going to make painted paper. So what painted paper is, is it's kind of like making our own construction paper. What we're going to do today is we're going to make different tints and shades of orange. So I have orange right here, but then I have the two colors that make orange, which is yellow and red. So I'm going to show you guys how to mix your paints together to make yellow and red. Notice how you have three cups, one red cup, one yellow cup, one orange cup. Each cup has its own paintbrush. So I'm going to start with the lightest color, which is yellow. You're going to fill the page up with yellow. You don't have to do it in this order. You can paint yours orange first and then add some yellow and red to it. But I'm going to show you how to make orange. So to make orange, we're going to use yellow first. And fill in our spot. Notice how I'm not leaving any white spots, but I'm also not adding too much paint in one area. I'm going to spread that paint around. Then you're going to use just a little bit, just a touch of red. You're going to mix it in there. You're also going to have some water buckets at your table, so we need to make sure that we dip our paintbrushes into that water bucket and rinse, rinse, rinse them out before we put them back into our cup. So it doesn't look like it yet, but it'll continue to mix and mix until we turn this into orange. Sure that you rinse that brush really well before you put it back in that cup. Some of you might notice that there's some cups that have other colors mixed in them. And that's what happens when we don't wash our brushes. So now I'm going to use the color orange. I'm going to fill in some spots. I'm going to make, I got to paint this entire piece of paper. So the whole paper needs to be painted orange. It could be yellow orange, red orange, but we want it to be orange, not yellow, not red but orange. The color we're trying to get is orange. So I'm going to keep painting until I fill the entire, from one side of that paper to the other side of the paper. Next, you guys are going to have a spoon at your table. Now, this spoon is not meant to eat the paint. We don't eat paint. Yuck. We're going to use a spoon to make texture. What texture is, is giving something what looks like it might have some feeling to it. Like, it can have a soft texture, a rough texture, a hard texture. So you guys are using lines and squiggly lines, dashes. Don't push down too hard because you might make a hole in your paper. So just gently moving our spoon over the paper to make some lines. And then we're done. So the goal for this is we want to make this pumpkin. You see the pumpkin? The pumpkin is called Pumpkin at Night. So we're going to paint the, our construction paper, make our own construction paper, and we're going to paint, we're going to cut it out and make a pumpkin. But we also need the leaves. So on another piece of paper, probably next class, you guys are going to make green. The way it's going to work today is either your table's making green or the other table's making orange. You're making one or the other color and then next class you get to make the second color. So to make green, we're going to mix yellow and who can tell me the other color we mix? That's right, blue. So we're going to mix yellow and blue together to make green. So here I am, I'm starting with the lightest color first, which is my yellow, and then I want to do just a touch, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit of blue, watch. Just a little bit. And then when I mix it together, it gives me green. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with my orange paper. I'm going to fill the page in with my green paint. And then I'm going to add texture to it with my spoon. So I'll let you guys watch me finish this up. But this is what we're working on today. We're making textured painted paper. 
you have any questions, raise your hand and we can come by and help. Okay guys, have fun.